I use the same characters for most of my work, Who if, are not they? All, if not all my work. Um, I feel like they're kind of like actors. Um, in one of the temples underneath, they light these with uh, yak. And instantly, you have no! facial hair. They didn't have the size I needed or the color. They had the right size, wrong color. I was like, but it's silver. That's standard color. Like, we don't yeah. carry that. I'm like, you've got copper, you've got green, you've got blue. What you don't have silver. And they're like, no, we don't carry it. I'm like, okay, thank you. But the bigger thought behind this wall, it is it's to duplicate a family wall. But what I want to do is I want to tell a larger story of Greece. So, though it's not remotely politicized here, here nobody would even think twice about it. Oh, the photograph is of uh, my housemate's bathroom uh, and the damage in there after a 300-pound uh, man kicked in our back door, stormed through our house while us trying to escape the police and uh, tried to climb out the skylight uh, by climbing on the sink and he ended up uh, ripping the sink out of the wall and injuring his uh, knee and then hiding under our guest bed and the police caught him and uh, I just came home to find a lot of police everywhere, water raining down from the ceiling, my housemate's underwear strewn all over the place. We could show things that haven't been shown. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea seen. too. Yeah. Like I think a few, I, uh, you know the book, the book is half before and after. We're going to be showing his work. Mm. But this guy painted his house trim the same color as his Yeah, shed. yeah, wow. And then it fell in on it. Right. Is that it? Is this was yeah, the, this was the roof collapsed. of the carport. Yeah. Oh and my it god. Collapsed, but he loved that oh car. Oh my god. It was there. It was upside down. <laughs> so I I oh, I, I, ne I uh, virtually never touch anything. I never change anything. But I did flip the couch. <laughs> I flipped the couch over for the, and for they the were picture. Covered. And they were picture. See now, I think this is the kind of thing that I love. I find these old fabrics. And then I actually dyed them with veg, you know, with vegetable dye, and it's just inspiration for collaging. And I like things that I like things that look old and worn. That's what I love. I basically I, I actually took a welding class and I made, sort of just made my own tools, and I heat these up, and then you know into the wax, and uh, you know create. And that way I create a lot of crevices that the oil goes into, I'll create shapes and that kind of thing. I love to collage and I wanted to stick with oil paint rather than go to acrylic. So I picked up a cake of wax and that was about 15 years ago. And I just started experimenting. And it moves, you know, it, it instantly adheres and collages. So you don't have to wait for any drawing period or anything like that. So I like to move fast. Oil paint? No. No, no, not, you see watercolors have a different characteristic than oils. They, they are much finer ground, the pigment is finer, and I get a much brighter color. And I get a brighter color than acrylics. So I use watercolors, I used to paint flat watercolors, normal, traditional watercolors. But these have much more light than watercolors have, traditional watercolors. I love stained glass, but I can't achieve it with watercolors. Because watercolors, all you've got is white paper behind. And even when you don't do it this way, they look pretty opaque. This is a cycle race in uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. To get the excitement, one picture would do it. There are many, many pictures. And I think the color adds to the, to the, the way I've used color adds to the excitement as well as the quantity of photographs. Thank you, thank you. I just uh, keep on drawing until I feel like I have a drawing. Um, in one of the temples underneath.